Crazy times right now we're living in with movie and television show productions put on pause because of the coronavirus, but social distancing doesn't always have to be bad. While upcoming releases get delayed, sure, this presents a perfect opportunity to go backwards and catch up on some good stuff you either missed or didn't fully appreciate when it originally came out. What's up guys, Chris Killian here, and these are the 10 most underrated comic book movies to binge at home. Starting off at number 10 is The Rocketeer. Made in 1991, I'm not arguing that the special effects aren't dated, but if you're someone who can look past that, and I am, then you'll also see that director Joe Johnson made a solid and much underappreciated comic book movie that's ripe for the grown-ups and the kids. Set in the late 1930s, his attention to detail for the period makes it easy to see why he was such a great choice to later helm Captain America the First Avenger for Marvel Studios. Plus, you need to rewatch this anyway since a sequel is rumored to be in development for Disney+. At number 9, you have to catch Mystery Men. Some might argue this isn't technically a comic book movie, but it is loosely based on Flaming Carrot comics, so I win. Mystery Men bombed at the box office because I truly believe it was before its time. The movie's Superman-like hero Captain Amazing has a publicist, endorsement deals, and behind the scenes, he isn't as nice a guy as he'd have you believe. So there's a lot here that clearly inspired the boys, and if you're one who loves a good superhero satire, Mystery Men is for you. Number 8, Snowpiercer. Based on the French graphic novel of the same name, Snowpiercer features Chris Evans taking a break from Captain America to star in a very unique comic book movie. What's it about? A train that constantly moves around the earth in a post-apocalyptic ice age as poor people in the cab decide to push their way to the elite in the front. Since it's directed by Parasite filmmaker Bong Joon-ho, it should come as no surprise that his commentary on social class systems is very much at the forefront of this awesome movie. Number 7 is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Sure, Edgar Wright's weirdly romantic comic book film is a cult classic today and you probably already love it because all the cool kids do, but you'd be surprised how many people haven't given Scott Pilgrim a chance and I'm here to let you know that you need to rectify that ASAP if you're one of those people. Coming in at number 6 is Darkman. Before he was the godfather of superhero movies by helming the beloved Spider-Man trilogy, okay, maybe beloved is a stretch when it comes to part three, director Sam Raimi took his first swing at superheroes with the too oft forgotten about Darkman. While it's not technically based off any one comic book, it was written by Raimi as an homage to Universal Monsters and comic books, and it's a classic origin story that could have easily been taken from the pages of a Marvel or DC book. At number 5 I've got American Splendor. This is not your usual comic book movie, but is rather a really stylistically interesting biography of comic book artist Harvey Picar, played perfectly by Paul Giamatti. Plus, it's way better than that other time Paul Giamatti played in a superhero movie. With number 4 we come to V for Vendetta. I'm not sure people still appreciate how difficult it is to adapt a graphic novel by legendary writer Alan Moore to film, but V for Vendetta did it about as perfectly as anyone could. Not only did it retain most of the political commentary from the book, but the look and feel of the film mixed with Hugo Weaving's classically trained voice matched the tone Moore created. Coming in at number 3, Daredevil. I'm sorry, I'm kidding. Daredevil is definitely my guilty pleasure comic book movie, and it's better than people say it is, but the whole playground fight scene makes it kind of hard to defend. For real, number three is Constantine. If you can excuse the fact that Keanu Reeves isn't English and doesn't look anything like John Constantine from the comics, then you've actually got a real quality film here. Keanu definitely nails the sardonic tone of the character, plus Jaimon Honsu as Papa Midnight, Tilda Swinton as Gabriel, and Peter Stormare as Lucifer rounds out an excellent supporting cast. Number 2 is Dread. It's a perfect movie about Dread. Everyone who has seen it wants a sequel and it's frustrating we still haven't gotten one yet. Go watch Dread. But the tip top comic book movie you gotta go back and watch again is Sin City. Filmed mostly against a green screen, Sin City achieved a look that perfectly complemented the gritty noir books written and drawn by Frank Miller. In fact, very few live action movies are this faithful to their source material and it's a real shame with the recent success of already comic book films that more people don't give Sin City its just due. And that's the list. You guys go watch a few of these. Let me know on Twitter at Chris Killian how you liked them and thanks for watching.